Konnichiwa, Neil Squad, your point guy. Back with another reaction video. And today, for you guys, we are doing a video called Fate Strange Fake, a servant that surpasses Gilgamesh, True Archer, Hercules, Power Breakdown. So, yes, guys, this is only a 7 minute and 15 minute video. Uh, one of you guys actually recommend me to actually react to this video. Like I said, you guys want me to react to any of the videos, leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys want me to react to next. I would definitely get around to doing it sometime during the week. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Um, and if I'm being too low or I sound pretty weird, it's because it's currently it's currently 137 right now in the morning. So I'm trying to um, record these videos, not be too loud and everything. You know, family sleeping and everything like that. Um, and, yeah, guys. So, excuse me. So without further ado, guys, uh, let's just get right into it. So, play. What's up, everyone? This is K Collections, and in this video, I'll break down the powers and noble phantasms of True Archer from Fate Strange Fake. There will be some Kay. mild spoilers. Nothing too big in terms of story, though. Talk to me nicely. For those who don't know what this is, basically. Fate Strange Fake is another storyline within the franchise. Long story short, you have humans being stupid. They cheated the system of the Holy Grail War, summoning more than the traditional <sighs> seven servants. Humans of the being stupid. Class. Mm. It's kind of like Fate Apocrypha, where you have two servants within the same class. In this case, it's known as true and false servants, with the exception true of and Saber, false servants. Who happens to be a pretty badass character. But, unlike Apocrypha, there are no factions, so it's basically a free-for-all battle. But, you can make alliances or just kill everyone you see. It's a lot more complex, but I won't waste time talking about the story. Oh yeah, these two are in it. And, when they fight against each other, holy crap, it's awesome. So, Gilgamesh is known as False Archer. I'm going to break down the servant who can potentially, keyword, potentially, surpass him. Alright, so I know there are a lot of fans out there. Merlanda, I'm looking at you. Please don't freak out on me. So it could be my boy. Let's see. Didn't know, True Archer is this guy, only a lot less scary. Let's start with his class. Obviously, he's an archer, but of course you have masters being dicks. This guy decided to corrupt Good Herc and make him evil. So now he's also an Avenger. So he's Good two Archer classes in one? Herc actually surpasses Gil in strength. A B A A A. Dang, he is strong. Awesome, has Only that sucks. Oh, well, quote unquote, sucks is endurance. Breaking down his abilities, I have to first mention that this Herc no longer has God Hand due to losing his divinity thanks to his master corrupting him. So, no 12 lives. But that doesn't mean he's weaker. Instead, True Archer can now use more powerful noble phantasms known as King's Order, 12 Glories. So, King's Order are 12 noble phantasms, one for each labor, as proof of his accomplishments. So far, only four has been revealed. The first labor, Pelt of the Divine Beast, was the skin of the Nemean Lion, which was then created as a cloth that he would wear over his face. This noble phantasm means he cannot be hurt with weapons made by humans. Wow, that's kind of busted. Berserker Herc was unaffected by B rank or lower weapons. Gilgamesh even said that only the finest of weapons can kill him. But True Archer cannot be harmed by any weapons made by human, regardless of power or quality. This nullifies almost all weapons within the gates of Babylon. Not even wow. the attack can work. Only weapons. Now it makes sense why it didn't affect him. Herc even said that Gil has That's broken. That's OD. Just to stand a chance against him. Of course, Gil being Gil, he doesn't use it. Karna's Vasafi Shakti can also be effective as well, as it is a spear given to him by the Thunder God Indra. So, the second through fifth labor was never shown, but his sixth noble phantasm, called the Stymphalian Birds, allows him to summon several gigantic birds to battle. If you play JRPG games, you know how awesome summons are. Skipping to his ninth noble phantasm, the war yeah, we're just skipping all around, are we? This allows True Archer to use divine energy to strengthen his attacks, making them a lot more powerful. 
think of this as an insane power-up. However, he hasn't truly used this Noble Phantasm to its max potential. Unlike a Super Saiyan, Herc only applies the power-up to his weapons, not his body, which he can, but he won't. His 12th and final layer wow, allows he, him to that summon makes sense. Why wouldn't he? How freaking awesome is that? Just like the birds, it can attack enemies. However, the beast is nerfed a bit due to unknown reasons. Nonetheless, summon a Cerberus, summon okay. Monsters. As I mentioned before, only these four noble phantasms have been revealed. The other eight, I assume, is just as powerful. But that's not all. He still has more noble phantasms unrelated to the 12 labors. Before I talk about that, I'm sure some of you were wondering if the Chains of Heaven can defeat Herc. In this case, no. As you recall, I mentioned that this version His is divinity is gone. Hey, divinity is gone, is so he weapon, doesn't even work on against him like that. Especially if Herc decides to go Super Saiyan. He also has Battle Continuation, which allows him to fight even when receiving mortal wounds. On top of that, he can shoot arrows 20 kilometers away at the speed of sound. It's even possible for him to shoot weapons away from the gates of Babylon. One of True Archer's strongest Noble Phantasm would be his 9 lives shooting the 100 heads attack. This attack is universal to all his different classes, but being an archer, he can use it to its true potential. The attack was used to instantly kill all 100 heads of the Hydra. Each class has its own version of attack. For example, his Saber and Berserker performs up to 100 fast slashing attacks that are almost simultaneous. Goodness. Kind of like Kojiro's Swallow Reversal attack. As an archer, he can shoot consecutive laser-like arrows that act like a homing missile. Because Herc is also an Avenger-class servant, the final noble phantasm that has been revealed is known as Reincarnation Pandora, Usurper of the Celestial Wind. This allows him to steal other servants' noble phantasms. The extent of what he can take is still unknown. However, spoilers, when he fought Jack the Ripper, not the lolly one, a different one, Herc was able to steal Jack's noble phantasm known as From Hell, which transforms himself into a demon. And Herc Goodness. just stole it. Transforming himself so he just basically just pickpocketed that ability like hey the end of the day oh, cool. is he stronger than Gilgamesh possibly so far Gil can use Aya but remember there are still eight more noble phantasms that hasn't been revealed for true archer and a bit of spoilers and when they fought against each other Herc actually called Gilgamesh weak can you imagine how pissed off Gil would be special thanks to all my patrons for supporting Wow, fate, strange fake, a fate that surpasses Gilgamesh, true archer, Hercules, power reveal, breakdown. Wow, so he lost his divinity, but it's not like, he, it's not like losing his divinity and everything like that. It's like he got stronger than getting weaker, right? Or am I just tripping, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this true archer version of Hercules is stronger, or do you think the version from Eliminate Blade Works is stronger? Let me know in the comments down below. So without further ado, guys, uh, like, subscribe, uh, like, share, and subscribe on the video. Hit the bell notification. Make sure you click all. So no matter time make a future upload, go ahead and follow the Facebook page and go ahead and give that off uh, Twitch page a follow. We want to check them out. Peace.